Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will show you how to do a benchmark of VASP using one of the test suits that you can get in the internet. And this test suit is from Peter Larson. You can just search test suits VASP, be directed to this nice website here. So this test suit for this, you need Python 2.7 and a Python behave. So if you haven't installed Python 2.7, you can use sudo a pt get install python and then uh, python 2 will be uh, installed and you can get the behave um, with the same command to get the source code of the test suit you can you copy this line here we first go to uh, uh, somewhere that i want to put the folder here and we use this line of code and is automatically downloaded. We can see that here um, in this folder, there's wasp test and you can see the wasp test to go into the folder. And you see that the readme file is basically the same as, as in the website. So it explains everything that you need to do. The first thing to do is to source the, the place for the pseudo potential library because for VASP, the pseudo potential library is actually commercial and it is under copyright, so you cannot distribute it online. That's why it doesn't come with the suit. But for our case, we need to direct the test suit where we put our library. If you remember that it is in VASP and um, PBE, we use the PBE type of um, functional and that's all and so everything is automatically made and then the second thing is to export the environmental variable for VASP in our case because we have seen that we added VASP to the .bash rc file so we don't need to specify the full path to VASP just VASP std if you haven't done this, you need to specify the full path. So basically, uh, that is from programs VASP uh, to VASP 5.4.4. This is our folder and bin. Yeah, and this is the full path. And in my case, I have two cores. And uh, of course, this depends on your machine. What is the MPI run? command for me it's mpi run so this should be it and then we can run the behave command so to run the test suit and you see that everything fails if we scroll back to the beginning and uh, basically we see that it is an assertion error md5 sum checksum of the port car of course the md5 sum will be different because we use a different version of the port car or let's say super potential library what they suggest to use 52 and in our case we have the 54 version which you can see from here yeah we have the 54 version but uh, actually this is not disaster we have to um, change the python file a little bit here you see the features steps steps.python and we just remove the line here we remove the checksum of the pseudo um, potential library and then it should be fine we maximize the screen here and uh, first clear the screen behave and you see that it starts the calculation now that's that's good and we get a lot of messages and what we can learn from the website is that the program automatically gives you all of the informations. If nothing wrong happens, they will always give everything. But um, if something wrong happens, there, there will be an assertion failed message here. So we just look for the assertion fail message and you see that everything here is fine. So it gets uh, the total energy and except that there is assertion fail here. Um, the point group symmetry should be OH, but we get something like BOH symmetry. I guess this is because of the different version of VASP. And you see that here it's also a little bit different. I guess this is not a big deal. It should be okay. Um, 
Yeah, all right. So we have passed the first four examples, and um, on a personal PC, I wouldn't go further. But it means that our compilation of VASP is uh, is correct, and we get correct result. So sometimes you get another error that is re related to the segmentation fault error. But I have addressed that in the last video, and you, if you get uh, some error of that kind, you can refer to my last video. How do you solve this by increasing the stack size limit? Okay, so uh, I thank you for watching, and if you learn something from my video, I would appreciate your like or subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you next time.